What's up guys? One of my videos went viral at the wrong time. Like I was literally traveling internationally, had very limited internet access, and I see one of my videos jumping up by tens of thousands of views every hour. So I'm there trying to respond to all the comments I can, and I get the first taste of what hardcore internet assholes are like. But on the flip side, I also saw some really amazing and motivating comments that got me so excited to get back home and start pumping out more videos for you guys. So thank you guys for all the support. Thank you guys for all the new subscribers. And one thing that I'll be doing in this video is I'll be picking the top 15 commenters that I enjoyed from my last video and adding them to a special thank you page at some point in the video. So stick around to see if you are one of those 15. All that aside, let's hop into the purpose of today's video, which is a follow up to the video that went viral titled The Dragon Balls Reveal Team 7 Elimination Order. In that video, I think I mentioned about a hundred times that I may be wrong, that the balls are extremely difficult to see, and I think that was done on purpose. That being said, no matter how many times I look at that screenshot, I do not see two stars in Tian Shinhan's Dragon Ball. But I've had other people who look at it and say they only see two stars. I've also had people say they see two stars in Master Roshi's ball, and like me, they see two stars, stars in Piccolo's ball. I can tell you no one has said that they've only seen two stars in Frieza's ball, Android 17 or 18 balls. So my point and the point of this video is to let you guys know that if you thought Piccolo had the two star Dragon Ball or Master Roshi, which a lot of you guys did, and you subscribe to this theory, then you are wrong, myself included, because I thought Piccolo had the two star Dragon Ball. Now, there are a lot of people, I would say about one third of the people in the comments to that video were saying they believe Tian Chin Han had the two star Dragon Ball. That's what they see when they zoom into Tien's ball. That video had over 300,000 views. That's over 100,000 people, roughly. That's not something to ignore. So what I'm interested in is hearing what you guys think is next. The guys who saw Tien Shinhan as having the two-star Dragon Ball, you guys so far are right about two eliminations, Krillin and Tien. What do you guys see next in this picture? Who is going out next? Leave that in the comments and let me know. Now, I'm also well aware that there's another theory out there, the ending theory, that talks about the elimination order. And according to that theory, Vegeta is next. That theory also has two out of two so far because it had TN as the second elimination. Vegeta is one of the strongest people on Team 7, and if he goes out, I think that will be pretty much confirmation for me that that theory is right and this one isn't. So we're gonna have to wait and see who's next. Before I go, there's just one thing I wanna touch on that I got a lot of comments about and I wanted to let you guys know that I do not make these videos to be right. I make these videos to create a discussion. I enjoy uh, Dragon Ball Super and I'm guessing if you're watching this video right now, you probably enjoy it as well. And I hope that as fans of the series, we can watch it, enjoy it together, and I can add to your enjoyment, not take away from it. If you're someone who do not like theories, then you should not be watching videos that I make about theories. Some of them are gonna be right, some of them are gonna be wrong. I accept that, and I have no problem with that either way. So there's no need to leave comments or send me messages about how wrong or how stupid I am or how stupid anyone else is in the comment for agreeing or disagreeing with me. We're all just having fun and having a good time. To the people who choose to leave comments like that, I will block you because that is not the kind of environment that I want to create in my comment section. All that aside, thank you guys and a special thank you to all the people on the screen right now for the comments you left on my last video. I really appreciate it. I have three other big theory videos that I want to put out in the next few days and I'm super excited to see how you guys are going to feel about them, what you guys, what your reaction is going to be. So look forward to that. Thank you to all the new subscribers and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.